News Channel 3's Shelby Nelson is live at JFK Memorial Hospital in Indio with the much anticipated data. Shelby. On you. Well, health officials from Eisenhower, JFK, Desert Regional, and even Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz were all in attendance for this virtual meeting, and they were ultimately releasing that very important data that's going to give leaders the chance to see when they could really open the Coachella Valley back up. But health experts say, according to that data, it may not be the right time just yet to release restrictions. And we've seen a 250% increase in cases this month. An increase in cases in the Coachella Valley. Health officials say it's not only because of the spread of the virus, but also an increase in testing. Local health officials joined in with Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz to give some of the latest local numbers based on transmission and hospital resource utilization. Some good news just in the past few weeks. When we dropped below our worst case projections, we potentially averted about four to 5,000 cases and almost 300 deaths in the Coachella Valley. But the numbers are still fluctuating. Uh, we're back up to 16 to 18 uh, patients per day in the hospital. This blue graph formulated by health experts shows the daily transmission of the virus. Once we start to see the trend of the blue bars reduce over time consistently, that will be important information for our decision makers to use in deciding when to reopen. Medical experts say another problem emerging, some people are too scared to go to the hospital and in turn, when they come back later, their conditions have worsened. That has resulted in some of those people being admitted to the ICU. Doctors say it's critical for people experiencing serious problems like heart attack, chest pain and more to still go to the hospital. I Definitely don't think that the actual incidence of these conditions has gone down. These patients, when they see the signs of, uh, of these, anything concerning like that, to call 911. In the meantime, health officials say concerning numbers continue to plague the Coachella Valley. We are still far off from our best case scenario. We can do better with more testing, contact tracing, and quarantining. Well, Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz says until we are able to see a steady decline in some of those cases over a consecutive 14-day period, it will be too early to release some of those precautionary measures. Live at JFK Memorial Hospital, Shelby Nelson, News Channel 3.